Hello, everyone. My name is Rochelle Innocent, and I'm the founder and CEO of Project Purpose. Welcome to our channel. Our community is focused on fostering the intellectual and character development in children. We do this through our parent-child workshops that are focused on four themes autonomy, self-efficacy, compassion, and self-concept in order to cultivate grit, perseverance, and resilience in each child. And we are so thrilled to be offering one of the first of its kind digital, virtual, and continuous learning environments, enabling parents and children to connect from all around the world. At Project Purpose, our overarching mandate is to renew and rebuild family, community, and relationships. Our different social media platforms provide us with an opportunity to have discussions and to create space for all topics that relate to, to family, community, and relationships with ourselves as well as with others with a primary focus on mental health and education. More precisely, the ways that the institutions of mental health and education play a role and have played a role in our societies at large. These discussions and debates provide us with an opportunity to think critically about what needs to change within these structures for us to live up to our bold slogan, support, protect, and empower each child through youth-focused development, better known as leadership in juvenescence. We recognize that in valuing our children children's leadership potential, this also translates as recreating and co-creating environments both socially and politically that will enable our children to thrive. For those of you who are particularly keen on the topic, we also write thought pieces every other Sunday. We have a thought piece scheduled to drop this upcoming Sunday, so be sure to meander over to the website and check out our online content. Now, if it is the case that you are looking for a listening alternative, well, we're available on 12 different podcast platforms for your listening leisure and we've provided you with access to the link in the description down below now as is the convention be sure to subscribe hit that post notification bell so that you are aware of every time we post and of course if you like these conversations and you want to keep them going like comment and share this segment let's get into it Hello, Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another segment here on Project Purpose. For those of you who are new, we cover topics that relate to mental health, mental wellness, and education on a week-by-week -week basis. And today's topic of discussion is mental wellness. On the topic of discussion of mental wellness, I'm going to be talking about rest and restoration and i think this is a very timely conversation because i am right now recovering i think the last few videos maybe even it's been the last two weeks my voice has definitely been under strain during the last couple of weeks because i've been battling the flu and it's interesting because i combated and i dealt with that flu within three days within three days i had that flu utterly destroyed but because of my inability to value rest especially when i'm in a recovery state i am still dealing with the congestion that happens as a result of my body fighting off the flu and so for me i don't know if it's the same for you but congestion and rest are directly correlated so when I am in recovery from a flu, how quickly I get cleared of that congestion is directly correlated with how much I'm resting. And it also is a very clear indication of my inability to rest. And I am someone who loves to unwind. Like I love to relax. I love to have my periods of restoration, but resting, I have a bone to pick with it. And I have to assume that it's my Canadian ideals that make rest so difficult. And typically my body and I were completely aligned when it comes to the way that I manage my routine and my day-to-day -day, like energy management but when I'm in recovery my body needs more of me and that's when I need to be responsive and clearly I've not been as responsive as I should be well I haven't been as agile in my response as I should have been like I should have known that like even after the flu like the fever is is broken like I need one week of sleeping more than I typically do and I don't typically sleep a lot like I know that they say that adults need like eight hours a day I don't abide by that like I am 
good with five and a half hours. Like I feel well rested with five and a half hours, but I realize that that's just my body like acquiescing to my desire to wake up because I wake up excited for the day. I'm excited to be stimulated, to engage with my environment. I am excited from the morning until the evening. Like I am happily awake. I am someone who begrudgingly goes to sleep. And I don't know, people outgrow this in adulthood. I almost certainly didn't. I am someone who like whenever I have to go to sleep, I still have a little bit of disappointment. Like, and I would never want to like cut sleep out completely, but I do find that I do have some resentment about needing to sleep. There's still so much I want to do. There's still so much I want to explore, so much I want to take in from dawn till dusk. So clearly this is like, I think a bit of FOMO. I think it's a bit of fear of missing out, but nothing specific, right? It's just like, I really love being awake and I love doing a bunch of different stuff. My body typically is on board. Like it's as excited as I am. Like when I'm getting ready in the morning, pumped, I'm amped. It's not like I'm dragging my feet to get ready to do the things that I want to do. But I find like I need to go much more slower when I'm recovering. And it's interesting because like I typically am out and about walking around a lot and I start to feel like my energy just lag. Like I burn out of that energy way sooner. And I get that sort of warning. Like I'm going to slip into like a secondary or a tertiary infection with like the cold sweats. So if I'm in recovery and I am not resting the way I should be in recovery, which is like, seven hours, eight hours of sleep. And even if I can't bring myself to sleep, because I typically will like wake up on my own if my alarm isn't up like within 30 minutes of my typical like wake up time, like my body just like, well, what's happening? And then I'll like wake up on my own. But when it is the case that my body needs rest, even if I wake up, my body will happily take me making the choice to go back to sleep and recovering and even just laying in bed for a couple of hours, forcing myself to like rest on behalf of my body. And I think that rest is just one of those very tricky things that when you're in recovery, like I am, it reminds me that like, I need to sometimes show up for my body, right? And I am so happy, so grateful that my body shows up for me in all the ways that I need it to. And I am someone who is a shaker and a mover. Like I love moving. And even when I'm in stillness, I find that there's so much calm and peace I get from movement. So there's always like a part of me that's moving. And I, I, I had a friend, I told him like, I have restless leg syndrome. He's like, that's not a thing. And he didn't believe me, but like anyone who knows me well knows that like I have legs that move all the time. Like I just love moving. But when it comes to recovery, like I need to be just that much more mindful to move less because my body wants to take that energy to recover. And part of that recovery, like how I can gauge to what extent I'm recovering or to what extent I'm not recovering is really my, my nose, throat and ear system. Because if it's getting better, I know that my recovery is doing better. If it's getting worse, it means that I need more rest and that's it right because when it comes to the flu like if I drink fluids if I am eating the right foods especially foods that have like a lot of decongestants in it so foods that have a lot of ginger a lot of carrots a lot of lemon turmeric cayenne pepper all of that and typically I'll take that in smoothies then I know I'm fine like I'm good like if I eat, have the right foods if I'm clearing everything out if I'm drinking water like that flu is as good as gone but for recovery I need rest and I think that I wish I had a better attitude towards rest I wish I wasn't so begrudging about resting because it's so good for me and even now we're having this conversation because I'm in a period of time where I'm needing to rest like I'm making the conscious choice every morning on the la only the last two mornings because I realized my body gave me that warning like just before I was going to bed like two days ago like I got like the, the deep cold from within <laughs> And I don't know if anyone else experiences this, but I get like this deep cold when my body is telling me you're going to slip into a secondary infection. So I got over my cold maybe two weeks ago um, and then I just been dealing with being congested and it was okay, like I didn't feel sick, I was just congested. And then I got that deep cold feeling, which is like my body telling me like, if you do not give me the rest I need, like you are gonna be laid out. And in the past, like if it was 10 years ago, I would have ignored the deep cold and my body would have laid me out. <laughs> And I've been resting and I would have been forced to rest for like two weeks. But I've learned to like respect the wisdom that my body has. And alignment isn't just me doing what I want to do mentally by way of will, by way of like goals, values, and achievements. Alignment also means being responsive to like my delta, being responsive to my physical needs when it is the case that my body needs more of me. And it's interesting because when my body needs more of me, it is those cases where my body just needs me to rest and needs me to be more still because that is something I really do struggle doing. So I wanted to come on here and talk about valuing rest. I don't know how many of us are like me where rest is difficult, where rest takes quite a bit of intention and mindfulness. And I'm an excitable 
person. Like I am a high energy person. And even when I'm quiet, like there's a lot going on in here. And if I could move all day, all night, like I would do it, right? Like I love everything about waking hours. And sleep is like, I feel like they're hours lost, right? Like dreaming isn't the same experience as being awake and taking everything in and having like this conscious lived interaction with my environment every day that nourishes me, that gives me insights, that fuels me. So yeah, so I guess like there's this like deeply embedded fear of missing out that drives me on a day-to-day -day basis, but I don't want to call it that because like I love every day, like every day is an opportunity to learn something new, not just about the world around me, but about myself, but I can't allow myself to, to discredit or to devalue recovery. I think that's something that I, I probably try to do to make resting a little more enjoyable because I think this video is really for all, it's a call to action to all of us who are like me, who struggle with rest, who struggle to rest when our body needs us to do so. I love my throat, nose, and ear system because they're so responsive. Like, I am consciously a germaphobe. It tells me that my body is inherently a germaphobe too because there's just so much that comes up to combat any invader or any intruder virus. Like, they have no chance, right? Like, my body just is so vehemently abhorrent to anything external to it that doesn't belong. And my throat, nose, and, and the ear system tells me to what extent my body feels comfortable with the ejection of said thing, right? So again, like this congestion, I'm, I'm resting now, so I know it's gonna go away soon, but it is maybe a signal to me and then also a signal to you to rest more when your body needs more rest. And I think when we're recovering from the flu, we're entering different seasons, we're entering fall, which is flu season <laughs> in a lot of different places. I think there's probably even flu season here in the UK. But it's a period of just awareness. Awareness, maybe take an opportunity to reflect on like the past year. Like we're already like more than halfway through the year and I like to do like a mid-year review and often like I remind myself when it is the case that I'm recovering. Oh like this is a great time to do your mid-year review because like I can't interact the way I typically would like to with my environment so I just become a lot more introspective and I'm already quite introspective so it just is a deeper dive and I realize that there's so much that this year has given me already like my year has been jam packed with lessons with learning with people with countries like there's been just so much movement this year and it's been a lot of growth and it's been a lot of challenges but like I've seen so much of me rise to the occasion and I'm just so proud of that and I was able to gain that insight by making the choice to rest so that's this conversation today it's really just a reminder to each of you to value rest a little bit more if you're like me it's a struggle but I think it's a struggle worth getting over because our body needs us sometimes to be responsible to its needs and like the easiest way to be responsive to your body's needs is to rest more drink more fluids and of course eat right and of course the movement bit as well like for me movement is not a thing it's not an issue rest definitely like this is my reminder from the universe that like rest is important too like it's great that like I'm a mover and a shaker and I love to like interact with my environment be in nature and have all these experiences but I need to like value rest and I'm trying to figure out a way to do that in a way that's honest <laughs> because I, I've spent like my whole life resenting rest and sleep and I feel like adulthood should have like made me enjoy rest a lot more but I don't so if you have any suggestions as to how I can value rest more than I do now so that when it is the case that I'm recovering from a cold I'm not extending my recovery unnecessarily because I can't allow myself to sleep that for that one two or three extra hours that my body is needing of me then I would love to hear from you now I am doing it of course because like I have things to do and that's actually been enjoyable I'm not gonna say that I haven't enjoyed the experience of sleeping in but I have to fight myself to lean into it to lean into experience and not have this feeling like hey Rochelle you're missing out on your favorite part of the day which is morning I am a morning person in any case that was it I'm not going to talk any further I think that that was what I wanted to come on here and talk about I wanted to keep it light because my last two weeks have been quite charged so I wanted to keep it light fun interactive and a little bit more vulnerable i think i think that i'm not super vulnerable necessarily on this channel i like to talk about like maybe my animated beliefs but i don't necessarily like to talk about like the moments of fragility that i experience and i think having a cold and recognizing that i'm the only reason why this cold hasn't completely like left my body really is what incited this conversation because i think maybe it's not just me that struggles to listen to our body when our body is asking for us to rest and i love my body so much i love all that it does for me all the ways it shows up for 
for me on a day-to-day -day basis. I love her strength. I love her fortitude. I love her desire to push forward the way I like to push forward. Like my body and I are in line. I am in love with my body. Love her to bits, but I can't just love her with my words. I gotta love her with action and that for this period of time means resting more than I am typically accustomed to. In any case, that is the topic for today. Rest more if you're not doing so already. Now, before letting you go, I would be remiss if I didn't let you know that we will be going live at least twice a month, every month for the foreseeable future on our Facebook page. So definitely be sure to tune in. Now, these events are paid events. So if you do see yourself participating in our community on an ongoing basis, then I do suggest that you take a look at one of our package plans. Yes, so we do offer package plans over and above our live events, as well as active access to webinars and workshops largely focused on self-mastery over and above these events. So check it out. Be part of our game changer community, being part of the change that you want to see, allowing us a small role to play in your journey. We are on the road to 1K, so we do invite you to follow us across all of our social media platforms. And we look forward to chatting with all of you very soon. We'll talk to you later.